Okay, so I just got back from a wet ride, or a wet commute. Um, pretty dry and comfortable to be fair, even though it's actually pissing down outside. But I just thought I'd tell you about what I've done today. Um, my drivetrain wore out. If you don't know what a drivetrain is, it's this part. So this is the cassette chain, chain rings, so all that's classed as the drivetrain. I just changed the chain and the cassette today. Um, why did I do that? Well, based on my chain and cassette wore out. I've always wanted to go to a lower cassette on the rear to so go to like 1132, 1130, whatever. This is a 10 speed, so you can get a 1230, which is the, the lowest kind of range gearing they do. Um, my, I didn't want to just basically put a new chain and cassette on for the hell of it and waste, you know, a, a decent um, cassette and chain. So I waited for it, for it to wear out. And the gears have been playing up like a, you know, like we believed it recently. So checked it all over today, changed fully stretched and uh, the cassette had worn out quite a lot. So wax on a, a 1230, which is the Ultegra, uh, Shimano Ultegra J Air cassette and, and chain. And I was a bit optimistic, a bit pessimistic actually, uh, about putting it on because what I had with the, tw uh, the 1128 was uh, a lot of holes in the gear. And so you'd find yourself riding, um, say, with, with a high cadence, a bit too high, and you want to go into a lower cadence. Uh, something that's more suited to, to your, your sort of style, um, but it ended up being too low, so the gearing was never right. There was always that, that gap in between. We think, oh, I just want something in between. So going to this lower gearing, I thought it's going to be, be too low, but to be fair, it's absolutely perfect. I find myself in the middle of the cassette more, uh, using the whole range of the gears better, and I don't find any, there's any holes in it either. Uh, Climbing-wise, I can keep the cadence a lot higher now, so I'm, I'm being able to maintain a higher power. Uh, so all in all. It's, it's fantastic. So if you're thinking about going to 1230, definitely do it. Don't be put off by people saying, oh, you're a fucking pussy, you know, you need to man up and all that crap. I got slated for it today because I was, I was going to um, a lower gear and they were saying, well, you don't live in the Alps. But where I live, it's like, it's pretty hilly. It's, it's like, it's you know, up and down dale, so there's lots of sharp kickers. Um, but yeah, it's, okay, you're gonna lose out on the speed and the descents, but you know, it's all about the climbs, isn't it? So if you wanna try it out, do it. Don't don't contemplate. It. Just get on there. Get a, a 12, uh, 12 30 If you're on ten speed, that's Ultegra. If you're on eleven speed, then man, you can get eleven thirty, eleven thirty two. So, yeah, check it out. One thing I always recommend you do when you get back from a wet ride is lubricate it. I mean, this bike's piss wet through. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray a bit of uh, G, uh, WD forty or G thirty five, any kind of like like thin spray oil. Um, just gonna spray it in all the moving parts. And, um, and on the chain as well. It's not area to lubricate it. It's just basically prevent any um, any any rust and stuff building up. I mean, if you've got when you bought new components and stuff, it's really important you, you maintain them. So give them a lube. I even did the brakes as well, but I'll do that in a bit. So lube it up. 